Ollie here with Local Knowledge. And I wanna do this little video here with AFCO to kind of show you what to do with this. This is a piece of bluefin tuna caught here locally like two days ago. Nice big fish, 200 something pounder. Some of the charter guys, they're gonna give you the option to send your fish to the processor. In my opinion, totally the way to go. We're super lucky to have three really good fish processors here in town. Each one of them is a little bit different, different location, different program. But at the end of the day, this is pretty much what you're gonna get. A single portion size piece of bluefin tuna, nice shoulder cut. You see the dark red here, and then up here is the fat. That's what gives it that really rich flavor. And there's a lot of fat and grain in the meat. A lot of people say, I won't eat frozen tuna. And that cracks me up, because I catch as much tuna as anybody. And we'll eat frozen tuna at my house, no problem. I think the trick is, is knowing how to treat the frozen tuna and defrost it properly. So this is kind of half defrosted right now. This will normally be in your freezer, right? You get home, you fill your freezer with all this good meat and try as much of it while you can fresh. But of course, you're gonna have to freeze a bunch of it and for your friends and family. Once you're ready to serve this, take this chunk out of the freezer, okay? And it's gonna be, you know, in the bag like this. If I'm trying to keep my hands clean, which I usually am around the kitchen, what we're gonna do is just flop this guy onto a paper towel. These are really good like food service paper towels. They're called wipe alls. You can get them on Amazon or whatever. Um, regular paper towels, paper towels will work, but I like these or even the blue shop towels. They're a little bit more like a cloth consistency and they don't tend to stick to the filet. So I'm just gonna lift this guy out of here. Try and get, you know, kind of all the juice off of it I can. I'm gonna lay that ruby red, awesome piece of fish down here. And what I'm gonna do is just pat it dry as much as I can kind of right off the bat. I got one paper towel soaked, no sweat. I'm gonna throw another one down here. I'm gonna flip it over onto this one. That's now trash. Pat it some more. Just get as much moisture as you can out of here initially. Okay, and if it's frozen solid, you're not gonna get much off in this step. You can kind of skip to the next step. So next step, your cheapy paper towel or paper plate throw down a paper towel, right? Now you've got this guy pretty much padded dry. See how much better it looks already, just pulling the moisture out of it. This is gonna be more like your sushi bar type product. And you'll see this in the sushi bars. When you look into the, the counter, you'll see the fish is always sitting on paper towels inside of a tray. What the object of that is, is to pull the moisture out of the fish. When the fish is very fresh, it's got a ton of liquid in it. It's not bad, it doesn't have any flavor, it just changes the consistency of it. And I hear a million people always ask me like, why doesn't my fish look like what I'm buying at the sushi bar? Number one, a lot of times if you're getting a yellow fin or ahi at the sushi bar, it's been blast frozen with CO2. And the reason they do that is it makes that, tuna doesn't come that dark, dark, dark red, especially yellow fin. It gives it that color. It just makes it look better and instantly freezes it hard as a rock. That totally pulls the moisture out and changes the consistency. We're gonna do a similar process here to get the moisture out, but without the freezing and the coloring and all that other unnatural stuff. So lay it down on a good quality paper towel. I take this thing and I literally like wrap it up like you would a baby or a burrito or a burrito baby. And then you take another paper towel, do this again. Now here's where you gotta pay attention. So once you wrap this thing up again, I'm gonna just take this just like you see there, right? So if we're eating this Wednesday night, I'm doing this on Monday, even Sunday night. I'm gonna lay this guy in my refrigerator as low as possible. And what that'll do is it'll chill the fish down and it'll bring the moisture to the surface. When that comes to the surface, the paper towels are there to catch it. For the first 24 hours, you're probably gonna to wanna to change your paper towels once or twice. As soon as they get soaked through, that liquid could cause problems with bacteria and flavor. You wanna get it off the meat as soon as you can. So you can already see right here, starting to come through the first layer. That's totally cool. We got it wrapped up in a double layer. Once this is soaked through, it'll usually be on the bottom. You can also flip it in between, unwrap everything just like you did, and then rewrap the, in fresh paper towels. After a couple days of this and changing the paper towels, go ahead and unwrap this thing and you'll be ready to slice it. Like I said, it'll pull the moisture out, it'll firm up the meat, it's gonna give you a better product to eat raw, it'll give you a better product to even cook if you like to sear your bluefin. Just all around, the best way to handle your fish, it'll yield the freshest product out of the freezer possible, and it'll blow your mind. You will start eating frozen tuna after you do this.